Hey guys, it's Marquita. So, I just wanted to show you quickly. Um, everything here is listed. Or will be listed. Well, no, is listed. On my Etsy. And on my Art Fire. So, there is the Winter Garden. There's the Indian Summer. The Lemon Cookie. And the Pumpkin Cheesecake. And here is the um the triple milk um vanilla mint soap that I really didn't do a video on but there it is anyway there is the champagne pear which is listed dragon's blood um berry bewitching chocolate mint then my kaolin clay soap charcoal and kaolin clay soap there is the lavender vanilla um, the coconut lemongrass, Tahitian waterfall, and um, the absinthe, my berry blast. Here is um, island nectar, and I have um, a few oatmeal bars left. My triple um, oatmeal berry. What the heck did I name it? My berries and vanilla triple oatmeal soap, some um, cherry almond, the lick me all over, just a few left. My breakfast soap, and this you didn't see me do. I did a video, but I chose not to upload it. Um, I did this just because um, I was just feeling. I forgot how. I was think I was just agitated and this is what I came up with so um, I just threw colors pink and purple and um, a little bit of orange into and uh, you know I alternated the colors obviously and what I did do was on the purple where there's purple on top I put a lot of glitter only where there was purple so let me find one that looks kind of, let's see, has a lot here, a little bit of both. So as you can see, the purple is glittery, and the um, pink and the white are not. Is this supposed to be, that is supposed to be orange. It morphed into white. It is not supposed to be white. So the light spots you see is supposed to be orange. It still looks neat. I was wondering. I did this about two weeks ago. So I eventually named this um, Vino Rosso Dolce, and that means sweet red red wine. And I thought about that name because of the combination of scents that I use. And there's a wine that I like to drink when I want to indulge a little bit. And um, I couldn't use the name of the actual wine. Um, use the region of the where the wine came from. I couldn't use their name. So I just named it Sweet Red Wine. And I just, you know, said it in Italian. So, um, and it smells exactly like that wine. So, yeah. And that's it. So all these are going to be, or are listed. Um... And, I, and I'm not making any more soap because I can't fit any more on my little soap shelf here. And actually, majority of these, maybe like two-thirds of the soaps are already spoken for. So I have to redo my quantities because I am very fortunate to have a lot <laughs> of holiday orders. So I'm really blessed. Really, really blessed. So I'm excited. I'm going to be busy. But um, between the soaps and lotions and candles and lip balms and stuff, and I've actually been getting more love on Etsy than Art Fire. That's weird. Like it kind of goes in waves. Like for a while, I'll get a bunch of Art Fire orders, and then, then, and then I'll get a bunch of Etsy orders, and then you know, nothing on Art Fire. So it's weird. So now I'm going through my Etsy wave. <laughs> um. I was so excited because I actually got two international orders. I got one from France and one from Canada. So I was so excited. And um, I don't know what I was scared of about international shipping. So I did it. 
it was a breeze. I don't know what my problem was. But anyway, so that's it. So all these are listed. Um, I had made uh, about five different bath bombs. Um, I haven't listed them yet. I haven't even done the videos. So I think I might do one more. So yeah, that's it. And I'll do like a quick video on the bath bombs or I'll just list them and then I'll just do a little bulletin. So okay guys, enjoy your Tuesday. Bye.